Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Dr. Corey here and I want to show you a lower body pelvis hip flexor stretch that you can do while your kids are sitting there doing homework. Check this out. But first, we need to throw on our leg bands. We're going to use the Katsu Cycle 2.0. This thing is super awesome. And anything you do, ugh, this just like dumps gas on it. Awesome. Awesome stuff. So, we got the left leg band and the right leg band. We're stuck inside. No school for a little while. And I'm at home. And I need to get a workout. I can't leave these kids go anywhere. So, how do I get a good workout at home? And the answer to that, this guy right here. Katsu Cycle 2.0. This thing is sweet. I do this stretch on my own using like a broomstick or something. And when I use the Katsu, it just makes it that much better. So we're gonna do a quick eight round cycle. And I'll take you through an active stretch or like active recovery dynamic stretch, whatever you wanna call it, we'll call it tactical stretching. Here we go. I'm gonna put my cycle on my shorts here. It's Camden. Up first, you take a towel or a yoga mat or something. It's nice and soft, you gotta protect those knees. So we are going to do both knees and take a broomstick. If you know what this is, this is actually a mop. For those of you who don't know that, this thing is pretty sweet, but it's actually very functional, very cheap. You can find these anywhere. Or just take a PVC pipe stick, something of that nature. Up first, we have the half kneeling hip flexor stretch. So the point of this is to wind up into a stretch. You're gonna breathe into the stretch and as you exhale, you stretch a little bit more and then you pull back. You don't need a whole stretch for a long period of time. But with Katsu, it helps magnify that response that you're going to get. We're gonna start with pro. I'm gonna do pro high. So right knee down, left leg up. You're gonna go two thumbs up on your broomstick and you're just gonna lean forward sideways so you can see me. So we're leaning forward and throwing those hands way out in front. So the goal here is to stretch that back right hip flexor and then the front inner thigh up there. Make sure you go thumbs up on the stick. If you go thumbs down, it's really going to hurt your shoulders. So we're going to lean forward, take a deep breath, and as you exhale, just sink down into the stretch a little bit more. You can push your arms forward. Don't hit your kids in the head. Ah, take a deep breath and relax. Then you're gonna take the stick to the outside of that front leg. Right hand's on top, left leg's in front. You're gonna push hips forward and pull back and to the right. Take a deep breath, exhale, and push down on the pole, stretching your right lat, right hip flexor and left inside thigh. That was the release of the first cycle. Now we're going to the second cycle. We're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now right foot up, we're gonna go left thumb up on top, throw that pole out in front, you can keep your hips straight, pushing your hips forward. You can throw this pole way out here, you can put your hand on your other leg as you get your balance. But you're gonna put that arm out, thumbs up, lean forward, take a deep breath, and exhale and stretch. And if you feel any pressure build up in your back, you can always squeeze that back butt cheek. That's going to lock your pelvis. So again, thumbs up, lean forward, take a deep breath. Exhale, stretch. So I'm going to take the pull to the outside of that front leg just to get across body. So now I'm going to get all this goodness up in here. Left lat, left hip flexor, right side. Breathe. Exhale. Come on back. I'm going to put the pole down. I'm going to go into a tall kneeling position. So that's just fancy for you're going to be on both knees. So I've got both knees on the ground. Got my cat suit warming up. We're going into cycle three. And we're going to do a tall kneeling hip flexor quad stretch. So again, you want to pad your knees. You don't want a whole lot of pressure. If this is hurting your knees, then find something to help kind of cushion that. But you're going to push ups forward. You're going to reach back with your left hand and then reach that right arm up in the air and reach back. 
breathe, uh, exhale, come on back to the middle. Push your hips back, put your right hand down, sit up tall, take your right arm, go back to that right heel if you can, take that left arm, reach it up, pull your hips forward as you reach back, uh, breathe. And again, you're not supposed to hurt yourself, so if you go too far, pull back. You're not supposed to push so hard you're hurting something. So it's just a nice, light, gentle rock forward and back. Oh, and we're already going in to cycle four. So cycle four, we'll go back down to a child's pose position. So hands and knees, this time we're going to go from child's pose to a cat and camel. So you can either point your toes down, you can tuck them like that, whatever's comfortable. I like to stretch my plantar fascia, so I'll reach back. If this hurts your knees, you don't have to go as far, but you're going to reach your hands forward like that. Tuck your head, take a deep breath. Exhale, and use your arms to push down into the ground. Push down, push your butt down. And you come up on all fours, suck your stomach, round your back, tuck down, roll up, and then come back to a neutral. Push down, relax. Take a deep breath. Roll through it. See, we're cruising right on through this. We're already almost done. All right, so now we're going to do what's called like a 45 degree, like a groiner. So you're going to put your foot, let's go right knee down. You're going to go left foot out wide like that. Coming on a 45 degree. And we can go back to our pole here and use this for some support. So right knee down. You're going to stick that left leg forward, kick it straight, pull your toes up, and use this pole. Kind of lean forward. So from the front, use that for support and push forward, pull back. And then you can even work the pull across your body to get really good right lat stretch, right in or left inside thigh. Uh, reach back. Just try to rock those hips and loosen things up in that pelvis. Pelvis is really important, so you got to keep it nice and loose. All right, where are we at here? Feel something letting go? That was the end of cycle five, and we're going to cycle six. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So switch inside, so we're gonna go left knee down, kick that right leg out. So not all the way straight, you can go straight if you want. I like to mix it up, 45 degrees, kick it out wide too, we're gonna do that one next. So we'll do 45 degrees, using this pull for support, push your butt back and forward. And if this hurts your hip, you can always bend your knee and do it like that as well. Deep breath, lean forward, put your arm down, and then walk that pull across to stretch out this right here, this right there, this right there. I don't know, all kinds of things are stretching. The main thing, just breathe and relax. Okay, the next one we're going to do is more of a 90 degree groiner, but we're gonna add some upper thoracic mobility. We're gonna open it up because your T-spine is always a tight spine. So always loosen up that T-spine. Going back, right knee down. This time you're gonna push your left foot out on the inside. If your hip hurts, you can slide it in or out, whatever you wanna do, but you're just going out wide. Push your butt back, take that right arm down, left arm down. So now you got your elbows to the ground if you can, and then come back up and open it up reach through use the back of this left hand down here to push into the ground to add a little bit more rotation while you're stretching the inside of that leg breathe into the stretch exhale oh, stretch a little bit more and then open up from there you can rock forward and back if your hips feel a little tight and you want to address that area but a good reach through and open with a straight leg really opens up all your rotational power. Oh, okay. Almost done. We got one more to go. Let's do the other side. So, left side down. On my knees, we're going into cycle number eight. I'm going to go hands and feet like that. I'm going to kick that right leg out. Oh, my hips are tight. Oh, it's, it's cramping. So, keep your leg back. If it cramps a little bit, it's fine. Bend that leg. Left leg is a little bit looser, so I was able to get a little bit more out of it. This one's starting to cramp. This is my back hip. Yes, baby. So we reach Daddy. through and open. Yes, dear. Something else happened. Okay, good thing. <laughs> good timing. This is last cycle. Oh, I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. 
All right, you just exit out of it. Okay. Pause. Okay. Is it? Okay. Good. Continue. Oh, that was a quick one. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, that's the thing. With kids, you never really know what's going to happen. So you got to be quick. You got to be your toes. You may not always get the best workout, but with Katsu, you can get a good workout in half the time, and it's nice and safe and easy. And I can do it right here. I can do it in a box. So stay tuned, guys. More great stuff to come. Dr. Corey, out.